So let's have a look down. Um, make sure everything there is okay. Yep. Let's just have another try of um, refreshing the page. Oh, I think it actually did work. Yeah, okay. I think there was just a slight delay in loading the data in. Um, so uh, I think, yeah, it did work. So you can see now we've just uh, retrieved this value. And what's more important, you've obviously noticed that by clicking Submit, the page hasn't refreshed itself at all. So click Submit, the page doesn't refresh itself. It just loads in uh, the contents of um, the contents of include.inc.php. Okay, so now what happens if we want to make this load uh, function a bit more dynamic? So, for example, I might want to uh, load in um, a specific file into a specific div. So I need to specify some arguments in my uh, load function. So the first one I might want to specify is the um, div that I want to load the uh, data into. So this, in this case, it would be a div. And then uh, the second pr uh, parameter or argument I might want to give it is the file that I want to load into this div. So that might be include.ink.php. Now this function would be a lot better because it means you could reuse it over and over again. And it would be really, really useful if you had a page where you wanted to uh, insert some dynamic data into many different divs and wanted to do this using lots of different buttons or in actual fact when the mouse was moved or something like that. So um, we are going to... Um, use this uh, to our advantage and create a uh, fully rounded function that's going to allow us to do this. So we want to load into ADIV, this is the first argument, and in, and uh, load this file into ADIV, which is the second argument. So let's go ahead and make the change, first of all, in this load part of the function. If you're used to functions, then this will be pretty straightforward, but um, I'm going to go through it anyway, just so we know what we're doing. So the first one is uh, the div. And the second one is the uh, file. Okay, so we've got the div which we're loading it into and the file. So all we need to now do is go down and make the changes. So the div here is specified as a div, but we want this to be dynamic depending on what we pass uh, through this function. So this is just going to be the div. Now let's go down. This uh, again needs this this uh, file here needs to be um, dynamic. So this is the file. So it's really as simple as that. Now what we've done is we've created ourselves a dynamic function that's going to load any file into any div. So let's go ahead and change the name of this div. So uh, another div, for example. Um, we've just changed the name of it to demonstrate the use of this function. So now let's change this to another div. And uh, we'll keep the include file as it is, but we'll change the content. So hello, everyone. OK, so let's go ahead and come onto our page. When we click submit, what this is going to do, let's just go to our page source. Oh, I'm tra translating it to English. All right, let's go to page source um, and go down. So it's a loading um, into another div and it's loading this file here into another div. So let's go ahead and click submit. And you can see that hello everyone has been loaded into uh, the div another div. Let's go down and have a look there. And we've got div ID equals another div. Now, because of the nature of Ajax and the way it works, you can see at the moment that um, there's nothing contained within this div, even though in here we have the text, hello everyone. So there's no need to worry about this if you're looking at a source file thinking, oh, nothing's in there. You, it won't actually modify the HTML because it's um, asynchronous and it does it without refreshing the page. We're not going to be updating the HTML code as well. Um, so you won't find uh, your text that you are putting into your div actually within your div. It's just going to be done on the page uh, itself um, to the people that are viewing it. So it's not actually going to be put into here. So what we've done in this tutorial is we've looked at uh, creating a function that loads in um, two, pr two arguments um, and this is on the click of a button but this could be on any HTML state so it could be uh, when you uh, start typing in a um, text field so we're going to look at tutorials later on that deal with more complex PHP uh, that is going to put um, values onto our page depending on what we type or when we move the mouse etc etc um, so we've gone through and we've checked for certain things set this HTML XML HTTP 
variable. We've checked for the state change and uh, upon the state change we've modified the contents of the div and then here what we've done is we've specified the file that we want to open and we've used this send to send the data. So that's basically simply opening a file using Ajax. Uh, this is pure Ajax so we're not using anything like jQuery here. Um, jQuery is easier however I do recommend you do learn this and learn how to do this because uh, it's going to be really useful uh, later on when you um, want to write in pure JavaScript and use Ajax um, as it should be, as it's, as it's intended to be. Um, so that's it for um, in including a file uh, using Ajax without refreshing the page.